At the Aberdeen Fish Market, mornings are busy. 70% of the seafood consumed in Hong Kong passes through here. Among the crates and tanks carrying fish from all over the world, you can easily spot the endangered or threatened species. They are in the category of live reef food fish, transported and kept alive until they are to be eaten. There's so much illegal trade and there's so little control and oversight by the Hong Kong government in this case. Our laws are very ill-equipped to control the trade as it's practiced today. Yvonne Sadovi is the co-author of a report entitled Going, Going, Gone. It reveals how a lack of regulation, current fishing practices and consumer demand are bringing many species to the brink of extinction. We train more than 180 species, but they are only one species of protecting. The live reef fish food trade involves about 20 species, most of them groupers, and most from Southeast Asia. Due to their colourful appearance and high prices, they are associated with luxury and economic status. Which is why Nguai Lun says there's a growing demand for the rarer reef fish, but they're getting harder to source. In the recent years, the price of live reef fish have gone up around 20% every year. It is due to demand from the mainland Chinese market, especially after China's economic boom. People want high-end seafood and the supply is decreasing. Hong Kong is a major transit hub for both the legal and illegal fish trade. People in Hong Kong have a major appetite for fish. On average, each person eats about 65 kilograms a year. According to the UN, that's three times the global average. And this has decimated fish stocks in Hong Kong's waters. So now 90 percent of the city's fish is imported. This grandmother tells us she doesn't know where the fish she buys comes from. But it's getting harder to find reasonably priced seafood. We eat two kilos of fish every day, but it's getting really expensive. So I have to find cheaper places like this market. This latest report says traders expect Hong Kong to continue to be a global hub for library food fish for the next five years. But conservationists warn unless practices change, and soon, that could be too long for many species to survive. The Vigopalan Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.